Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at how to create lights and I think each video I'm just going to do one at a time and showcase that light. So um, we're going to be using Arnold which is a type of renderer in Maya and we like to use everything having to do with Arnold. So the textures, the lighting uh, and the rendering process. So uh, here we go. There are many different types of lights we can use, and I just made a scene here where we have um, a plane and a sphere. So first, we're going to come up to Arnold, and if I go to render, to render this out, to see what this looks like, you can see there's nothing here because it's pitch black. I haven't added a light yet. So you are in charge of this 3D world. You need to light it up. Let's go to Arnold again, and let's go to lights, and we'll start with the a uh, simple light called an area light. An area light looks like this. If I move it up with my move tool here and over to the side, you can see if I get close, an area light is kind of a square with a line protruding from it. And that line is the direction the light comes out. So the line is not coming out this side, it's coming out from the right side. Okay, so I'm going to select that again. What if I didn't want it to be a square? Well, I can change it from a quad over here. This is where my um, attributes editor is. And I can certainly change the, si the into a cylinder, which I don't really need, or a disk, which might be a little bit more useful. I'll just keep it as a quad for now. OK, so it's, you can also just make it larger so it's easier to um, handle. Uh, with the scale tool. I'm going to tilt this down so it's aiming at my sphere and now I'm going to go back to Arnold render and before it was complete darkness and now it still is except you might be able to see just a little bit of a, a light source here and that's because uh, these lights tend to start very dim so what I'm going to do I like this render I'm just going to keep it over here for now let me move my scene over and we can see this happening real time so there's an intensity and exposure, and by the way, you don't see those things unless you're selected on the light. And the intensity, I'm going to just make it a 5. You can see it's lit it up a little bit. And my exposure, I'm just going to make it the same. And you can see the difference. I have a light source uh, casting shadow, and this is what an area light does. <clears throat> so, um, you could change the color of this area light. Here's a color bar and I can choose the color and I can um, change that as well. What if I want two light sources? Well, I'm going to move this, I'm going to duplicate this Command D and I'm going to get my Move tool and move one light over here and I'm going to rotate this on this side and maybe I'll make this more of an orange light. <clears throat> and now you can see what I have. I got blue light on the left and a orange light on the right. I could make one dimmer than the other. I could just have a dim um, orange light over here. I can change my numbers. But you can see by keeping up the Arnold render view, uh, you can watch this stuff happen in real time. Um, so that's about all I want to go through with this video, but this is area lights and good luck and give it a try.